Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. If you've been here before, thank you so much for tuning in again. Today we are going to be decorating for the um, week of March 8th through the 14th. I can't believe we are already in March. Um, I am going to be using the Happy Planner Colorful Florals book. Um, this is new from the spring collection. If you want a full flip through, I do have that on my page in one of my previous videos, so definitely check it out. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is when I start, I always like to um, start in the back of the book just to see if there's anything that I want to use. Now this does have some um, just paper floral stickers that you could actually color or make your own. Um, most people will just leave them the black and white, but I actually want to make a colorful spread this week. Um, we've got some gold. And I actually think I like this sticker, but I'm going to keep going first just to see what we have. Okay. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I want to use these stickers here for the alphabet. Um, and I'm just going to write in a word. I think I'm going to write springtime because this is going to be a very spring um, type of spread. Springtime is here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So let's start there. Okay, so what I decided to do is spring is here, 2021, and so we'll start there. Now, what I also want to do is I want to find some um, floral stickers to go here and then have them as if they're hanging. So let's see what floral stickers that we can find. I'm going to keep going. Now, this is pretty, but we also have this color coming in. I'm going to go with this one. Now this will be for our sidebar here. And I think I'm actually going to replace the March that's currently here. There's nothing wrong with it, but I think I might have another option that we can use that may look better. So I'm going to look in the um, Lettered Planner Words by Kelly the Plan Volume 3. Yep, okay. And so I think I might want to use this March, but maybe orange. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that will work. We're just going to cut off the extra there. So I think that's cute. Now we may add some more um, letters in here or words, but I'm not sure right now. Okay, so let's continue. I think I actually love these little circles here. I think I might use these actually. It says focus on friends, focus on gratitude, focus on growing. Now that's kind of a peachy color, so I don't think I'm going to use that because I don't have those peach tones here. So I'm going to wait on that one. Do I have any yellow? I have a little bit of yellow popping through, but I do have purple, so I want to use that one for sure. Focus on wellness. 
focus on family. And let's put in that yellow. Focus on doing. Now this week has been, um, well, not this week, but last week was kind of crazy. Um, I did lose my grandmother, um, and so that was kind of hard. So this is very, very um, good as far as um, what I'm needing to do. You know, focus on doing things, focus on my wellness, focus on my family, focus on loving, focus on gratitude, and focus on friends. Um, as I'm out this week, you know, just making sure I am focused on the right things and not getting, you know, too sad or depressed and just making sure that I am, you know, setting a good example for my other siblings as well as my children and just letting them know that this is a, a process of life and it's okay to grieve and, but we don't want to, you know, make ourselves too upset about things. And so... That's what I'm trying to do is trying to stay focused, stay busy. Um, although I'm hurt, you know, just trying to, trying to stay focused. Okay. So I think I like the way that this looks with the longer lines. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. And guys, don't forget that. If it doesn't look perfect or you mess up, it's okay. Start again next week, you know? Start a whole new spread next week. It is okay. Um, so let's continue. And so now we've got some boxes here, which will be good for like any um, events that we have to do. But the fact that they're solid, I think I wanna wait on those. I'm thinking that I wanna find something that has um, lots of color in it. So I'm gonna wait for that. Now these are cute. I think I'm going to grab some of these and place them um, throughout the spread on different days. Okay. I'll make sure I grab the colors that are already here. Plug it right there. Let's also grab this one. All right, let's grab this deep color here. And I think I'm still gonna do the, the trimming of flowers here. So that gives me a few different boxes that I can use. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in this purple. Now this will be for um, just different things that I need to complete throughout the week. And so I want to make sure I have a check box here. And then we'll put a header there a little bit later. Okay. So let's continue, see if there's anything else that we want to add. Now, see, these are cute because they kind of have that mixture of colors. But I'm going to see if I can find anything else. Oh, I love this box. I love that yellow. And so since I do need a header here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow. Since we don't have a lot of yellow in the spread, I'm gonna go ahead and place it right here. And then I can write, you know, my own header here as to what this is gonna be for. Because sometimes I just put this space on the side, um, but I don't know what it's gonna be used for just yet. So sometimes it's extra notes, sometimes it's a to, um, to buy list. Um, it really just depends on the week. And so I wanna have that. Now this is gorgeous. That's a pretty sticker. Okay, let's use this one and this one. Okay. 
And the good thing about some of these books, the ones they're coming out with now, is you don't even need to use multiple sticker books. I mean, you can, and then, you know, sometimes I will kind of collab some of the different sticker books together, but you don't even have to. That's how good these sticker books are becoming because now it gives you, you know, a sidebar, it gives you a checklist, it gives you um, just decorative boxes, colorful boxes. Um, so you get a little bit of everything now. You don't even have to go to a whole nother sticker book. Everything you need is in one sticker book. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, I gotta use those too. I really wanna use this one. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna cut this one in half and don't be afraid to cut your stickers in half. They're just stickers, guys just stickers. I'm actually going to place it. We'll place it right there. So to have a place to write and I'm going to place this one on this side. I think I'm going to go this way. Place it right there. Okay. Okay, so now we have some florals here. And so I actually wish I had a little bit more, but I wanna use all three of these. But I'm just gonna place them right along the border of that middle box, because I'm not gonna actually write too much in that middle section. So I'm gonna cut these in half, see if I can get them to just fit. right around this section here. Okay. And let's do the same thing on this side. Cute. All right, now we've got a smaller one that we're just gonna cut in half and do the same thing with. put one on this side and then I'll put one on this side there we go I think that's cute okay so same thing cut this in half place some on this side okay these are too long so let me actually cut those a little bit Here we go. And this one is too long as well. So I'm gonna cut it. All right. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit more of a quote here. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. which says, keep going and keep growing. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna add one more quote here. And then I'm gonna add some boxes for checklists for each day. And then I think we're gonna be done with this spread. Pretty simple, um, pretty cute, and then definitely functional. So don't forget when you are decorating, that you make sure that you have some places to write um, so that you can keep your spread super functional. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull some more of that orange in and then place this right here. So when we love, we grow. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep it just like this. I'm not gonna add any additional boxes. But I'm gonna go in 
and just make sure I have some places for some checklists. All right, guys, so this is my spread for my catch-all planner for the week. Um, I hope you guys like this spread. If you do, definitely let me know down in the comment sections below. Um, and don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I really appreciate if you guys help me out um, to grow my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.